my channel. It is the 2nd of April today, which means it's time for March favourites. I cannot believe March has flown by and it is already April, but I'm really, really excited about today's video for two reasons. Firstly, I love the month of April. I know that sounds stupid, but it is my favourite month of all of the months. I just think the weather gets a bit nicer, the evenings are longer and lighter because the clocks have gone forward and you've got the whole summer ahead of you so you're just kind of full of anticipation. I just think there's a really nice feeling around. And it's also the month of my birthday so that probably has something to do with it. Although it's not right till the end, I have to wait for ages. But um, yeah, I do just love April. And secondly, obviously it's March favourites like I say, I feel like I've found loads of really good products this month. I was quite lucky and there was a beauty sale at work so I got a few discounted products. So it's just been one of those months where I seem to have found loads and loads of good stuff and stuff I'm really excited to tell you about. So if you want to see what I've been loving using over the past few weeks then please keep watching. So firstly let's do skincare because I found a few products that I'm loving this month skincare wise. The first product is actually a sleeping mask which is not something I've ever used before so I can't say I've tried loads but I'm absolutely loving this one and it is The Body Shop's Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask. Now I actually saw this because Fleur de Force I think reviewed it so when it turned up like I say in the beauty sale at work I couldn't believe it and I snapped it up straight away and I absolutely love this. It's a really weird consistency. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see that. And it's probably because it is called bouncy, to be fair. The only way I can think to describe the texture is this Angel Delight, which is really random because I haven't actually eaten Angel Delight since I swear I was about seven. I don't really like it. But it's that weird bouncy, it's not cream, it's not jelly, it's kind of in between. It's that kind of texture. And it comes with a little spatula to apply it to your face. But I actually find that a bit of a waste of time and I do tend to just dip my finger in and then apply it all over my face and it's meant to be the last step in your skincare regime before you go to bed, obviously because it's a sleeping mask. So you just let it sink in. At first I wasn't sure because it doesn't sink in quickly. It is a different texture to a cream. It doesn't absorb straight away. You can feel it's there and it is a little bit sticky in your skin, but once it's absorbed, it feels amazing. And I just find when I've applied this, I wake up the next day and my skin is so, so soft. It's like baby soft. It really is so smooth and so soft. So I really have no complaints and I absolutely love this. And I feel like, I swear, I'm going to have this for like five years or something ridiculous because you honestly need the smallest amount. It goes such a long way. And I'm generally quite, I don't know, liberal with my products, but you really do only need the tiniest amount. And it covers your whole face and then you wake up, like I say, feeling soft and smooth. I just really feel like it makes a difference. So I really, really am enjoying this. I wouldn't necessarily use it every day. I think it's probably a bit rich for that. So I think as maybe a once a week skin treatment, this would be perfect. The second skincare product I have is from Elemis and it is a cleanser. And it is the Pro Radiance Cream Cleanser. This says special edition, but I think it's just this box set that's special edition because it comes with a little flannelly cloth thing. I don't think the cleanser is special edition. I'm sure you can still get that. And it comes in this tube here. And it smells, as with all Elemis stuff, oh, amazing, like a spa, which I really, really love. And the way I would describe this is, is it's the same consistency as the Lizelle Hot Cloth Polish Cleanser. I don't know if you've tried that. It's kind of a thick cream. Let me show you a little bit now. It's a thick cream consistency. And you apply this to dry skin. So you rub it all over your face and then you use the hot cloth, again a bit like the Lizelle, you apply a hot cloth or flannel and wipe all of the cleanser off and you're left with a really, really clean, cleansed face. And I really, really like this. It's the type of cleanser, just after using it, my skin just feels absolutely squeaky clean. You feel like there's no trace of makeup left, you feel like all the grime and dirt of the day is gone and I just love that fresh, super cleansed feeling and I really feel that this does give me that. It just feels like I'm putting something good on my skin, if that makes sense. You just, I just feel like I'm doing it good. And it is called Pro Radiance, and I really do feel like it does make my skin more radiant. It probably is the fact I'm using a hot cloth as well, but whether it's that or the cleanser, the whole process, I'm really, really enjoying using that to take my makeup off at the moment. I don't think this one is cheap. I think this is about £29, so it is quite expensive and more than I would usually spend on a cleanser, to be honest. But I am liking it so much that I think I would repurchase once this runs out. So I'm really pleased with this one. I'm really enjoying using it at the moment. And then the final skincare product, if I can call it that, because it's a kind of multi-purpose product, is the Nukes, I think you say it Nukes, Nux, Nukes, um, 
Oh, it's all in French. It is the Nukes Multi-Purpose Dry Oil, there we go, for the face, body, and hair. I love products like this because you can use them for everything, so they're such good value. And if you saw my Paris haul, I went to Paris in December and did a haul of everything I bought. This was actually in there because I did buy this in Paris, hence all the French. Um, but I've only just started using it recently because I was using another hair oil. I use this mainly on my hair and I was using another hair oil before, the Organics one, which was fine. I really, really enjoyed using it. I think actually it's been one of my favourites before, but I wanted to use all of that up before starting this one, which I finally did do last month and I'm absolutely loving this. I'm so glad my other one ran out because I much, much prefer this one to be honest. I think I probably could have used the other one on my body as well as my hair, but because it was a hair specific product, I, I just didn't. I don't know why, just because it said hair on it, I didn't. Whereas this one I use on everything. I use it in my damp hair, as I said, on the ends when it's wet, just to give it some moisture and just to give it some health back. And I also use it on dry patches. I've chucked a bit on my elbows actually this morning, or sometimes if I'm on my way out, I'll rub it into my hands. And it just, it says with six precious plant oils. So I think it's just really, really nourishing, really rich, but not too greasy, because I can't stand oils that are too greasy. It absorbs quickly, it smells good. I love the packaging, so couldn't ask for more in this product really. It only looks small, but with oils you don't use too much, so I'm sure I won't get through it too quickly. So yeah, really liking this Nukes product at the moment. I think, although obviously I got mine in Paris, I think Space NK stock Nukes. So if you did want to purchase one, go onto their website or into their store. Now onto makeup, I've got a few makeup items to show you. The first product I actually um denied about putting into my favourites video because it is a primer and I actually reviewed on my blog and also it was in my February favourites a Max Factor primer which I absolutely loved and I still do love. It's just again, I know I keep banging on about the beauty sale but they had this primer at the beauty sale I went to so and I needed a new one because I'd run out of my Max Factor so I thought I'd give it a go and I actually think I might prefer it to the Max Factor or, or it's on a par, I don't know, I can't decide. So I still do absolutely love the Max Factor one and I still stick by everything I've said about it. I just also love this one, so I need to make my mind up. Anyway, let me actually tell you what it is. It is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Now, I'm not actually sure. I think NYX is an American brand, so I don't know how easy it is to get hold of. I'm sure you can get it online or whatever. But I really, really like this. It comes out almost a white chalky consistency if you can see here and I actually mean that in a positive sense chalky you wouldn't think you'd want by it but I actually like that because I can see exactly where I'm putting it so I don't waste any of the product which I think comparing it now I did tend to do with the max factor I think I probably used too much whereas because you can see exactly where this is going I don't waste any of it and I use only what I need and it just it feels mattifying it fills my pores in and it just makes my makeup last a really long time so like I say it's not that I don't like the max factor one anymore I do still absolutely love it and to be honest when this runs out I will probably buy the max factor one again just because I think my max factor would be my go-to but if you did happen to see this in the stores or you did want to try something a bit different then I would definitely recommend this as I've really really enjoyed using it this month and it's done everything you could want a primer to do and then the next makeup item I absolutely love I can't believe that it's taken me up until now to use this product basically I don't know what I was thinking I don't know what I was doing I don't know why I missed the boat on this one but it is a brow gel and it is the brow artist plumper from L'Oreal Paris Sorry about the mess there, I think I've complained about this before. In the super job they put those stupid security code stickers on and it literally takes me about an hour to get into the product when I get home. So frustrating. Anyway, it is basically just a tinted gel on a like baby mascara wand that you just run through your eyebrows, obviously. But what I love about this is it's not necessarily, obviously the tinting's great, but I can't use it. For me, my, my brows are quite sparse, so I do still need to fill them in. This isn't a product I'd use on its own. I fill them in and then I go over with this. But what I love about it is it just keeps my brows in place all day. And I was really, really struggling with that. By the end of the day, they were kind of, they needed coming up. They, they were pointing the wrong way. Whereas this, after I fill my brows in, I just brush it into place. It's got kind of, I don't know, some people might not like this, but the crispy feel to it. So you know, you can feel there's a product on there. I mean, I can't feel it now, but if I touched it, I can feel there's a product on there. But I have to admit, I love that because it just makes me know that my hairs are locked in and they're properly in place all day. So I really, really love this. And it was about seven or eight pounds or something. So really reasonable. And it's definitely a makeup staple for me from now on. And I will never, ever not wear a brow gel again. So I'm so glad I found this. And I'm so, so happy with this. And then the next makeup product or beauty product is the number seven Gel Look Shine Nail Colour. And it is the one I'm wearing now. 
and it's just a lovely dark plummy reddish colour, shock horror, I always wear that colour, but what I love about this is the gel factor to it, and it says gel looks shiny, and it really is that, if you can see, it is actually really, it probably isn't picking up, but it is actually really, really shiny, and you only need one coat of this, because it's so thick in consistency, so it saves loads of time, you can just whack one coat on, and you're good to go, and it does look more professional, I think, than the normal nail polishes you get, just because, like I say, it's that thicker consistency, it does look a bit like a gel manicure, and a friend at work actually recommended this to me, so I'm really grateful for that, because I really, really like it, and again, it's about £7, so a really good price as well. The only drawback is, in this gel range, at number 7, there is quite a limited colour range, I think they only do maybe 9 or 10 colours, which is still quite a lot, but you know, compared to the rows and rows of, say, Barry M nail polishes or OPI, um, the colours are quite limited. I actually wanted a slightly lighter one for spring, but I still really like it and I just love the way it looks on my nails. So yeah, I'd really recommend that one. And now for a lipstick, and I'm really, really excited about this product because I have wanted it for so long. Honestly, I don't know, I actually don't know why I didn't buy it sooner. All the beauty bloggers seem to have it. I've read so many good reviews about it. I love the colour on people whenever I see them wearing it. So I finally took the plunge and invested in it, and it is the MAC Plumful Lipstick. And I'm wearing it now in this video. And look at that gorgeous colour. To me, this is just the perfect colour for spring. I think it's just gorgeous. And what I love is it's so wearable for the daytime. I was really struggling to find a lipstick that was suitable to wear kind of every day. Because I think I've said this before, but I've always been more of a gloss person than a lipstick person. So when I wear a darker or a brighter colour, I feel very conscious or very aware that there is something on my lips. And I'm kind of, I go to drink a drink and I'm like, going like this and people are like, relax, like you can act normally when you wear lipstick, which I know sounds really stupid, but I was just really aware there was something on my lips. I didn't want to smudge it and I don't know, I was just very, like I say, I could just tell there was something there. Whereas this one is such a wearable shade. I only got this a couple of days ago, so it is brand brand new, but I have worn it a few times and I absolutely love wearing it. It's really moisturising, so it goes on quite sheer, but you can build it up. I've got two layers on now, but I've also worn one layer for a sheerer look, so you can really mix it up and it just feels really moisturising and hydrating and it just gives a really lovely colour. I'll be honest, I don't think it's the longest wearing of lipsticks. I've got a Charlotte Tilbury one and another MAC one, which I think due to the colours, they're darker shades. They last a bit longer. This one isn't terribly long wearing, but because of the colour, it looks absolutely fine and it fades out fine. It just leaves your lips with quite a nice stain, actually. Obviously, you can touch it up if you want it to stay as it was when you applied it, but I actually quite like the stain that it leaves behind, so it wears absolutely fine. And like I say, I just think it's such a pretty colour for the spring and will be really lovely going on into the summer. So I'm so happy I finally purchased that and I think I'm going to wear it all the time and it's going to be a key item in my makeup bag from now on. And then I've just got one more product to show you and it is this tatty battered box that I've got here. Apologies for that, I must have ripped the top off. I think I took it somewhere and it wouldn't fit in my makeup bag and I just got annoyed and ripped it off. But what it is, is the false eyelashes from Tanya Burr, from Tanya Burr's range. And I've never, I don't know, I went through a false lash stage maybe about two years ago and then the last two years I haven't really worn them at all. I find some of them look a bit heavy on my eye and even on a night out, if I put a full on strip false lash on, it can actually make my eyes look smaller in a sense because you just see black and I, it just feels a bit heavy, it's not really the look I want to go for. But I had a night out a couple of months ago and I did want to look a bit more glamorous, I wanted something a bit more special. And I saw these in the Tanya Burr range and what it is, it's a half lash. So it's only for from the middle to the end of your eye and it's the Tanya Burr Everyday Flutter. And it says, these half lashes give a natural eye opening effect. And that is exactly what they do do and I love them. So I've got them on now and I just think they look really lovely. They're not too over the top. They're not too heavy. They just open up, they just give a really lovely flick to the side of your eye there. Just a nice flutter, like what it's, what it's called. And I just think it's a really nice effect if you're going to a special occasion, or you're going out in the evening, and you don't, like me, want to wear a full-on lash, but you do want something a little bit extra. It just gives a really nice natural flutter, and a few extra lashes to the ends of your eyes, and just really makes your eyes look more awake and adds to the look. So I really, really love these a lot. And another massive bonus point actually for these is I do find false lashes a bit fiddly to apply, whereas because it is only the half lash, I find them much, much easier to apply because you're not worrying about this inner corner bit here. You can just place them down with the tweezers and the glue and they just sit in really, really nicely. So they're really easy to apply. 
they look really natural and yeah really pleased with these and like i say they're by tanya burr so i really really liked buying something from her range as well i thought that was really nice so that is it for my march favorites thank you so much for watching guys i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a massive thumbs up i would really appreciate that i hope you all have an amazing easter weekend whatever you get up to see you next time guys bye